Hey folks, Ray, DCRamerica.com here. Today I'm at CES 2019 showing a pretty unique concept. Now, like a lot of things at CES, they're more like concept cars, but not necessarily all the pricing and availability and all that kind of stuff isn't really figured out yet. And this is what I'm gonna show you here with Four Eyes and their power meter. Um, what they've got is essentially a theft tracking system. Uh, so, you know, right now, if you lose your multi-thousand dollar bike and maybe your thousand dollar power meter, you're pretty much out of luck. You just gotta hope that whatever, you know, police and whatnot behind the scenes will find your unit. But with this, they've put a tracker in that power meter. What's cool about it though, is it's already in all the power meters. It's just a matter of software enabling it. Uh, so I'm gonna show you here the way this works. And what I've got is a four eyes power meter there, a dual one that you can see if I go down like this, there we go. Um, but I've also got another crank arm off the side. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you have left and or right or left and right, it's all the same. Uh, both sides will actually transmit. So you can see this side here, this side here. That's notable because this left side has just a simple, you know, battery door you open up with your fingers, but the right side requires screws. So from a theft standpoint, if your thief was smart enough that they would have to know to that that was actually a tracker, um, it would be a little more difficult with a side requiring screws. In any case, here's how it works with the app itself. This is a Four Eyes app um, that would actually work on any of the different tracker networks. So in this case, it's all powered by Chipolo, but it could be Tile or Tracker down the road. Uh, the, the concept here is on Chipolo. Uh, you have your units already listed in the Four Eyes app, and then you simply mark it as lost or found. So if I tap this right there, choose the mic unit, there we go. And it's gonna go ahead and show me in the app right there, if you can see that, um, where it is. And of course, the way these things work is that these sensors, uh, these particular devices are broadcasting out continuously uh, over Bluetooth Smart in basically a beacon mode. Uh, and it doesn't really impact power because it's super low power. So most of like the Chipola trackers and the tile trackers, et cetera, are designed to last up to a year in this really low power kind of passive mode. And so from a power meter battery standpoint, it's ne essentially negligible. When other devices then pass this, so if someone has a phone and it goes ahead and passes by your power meter, it registers that device, registers the location, and you can see it on the map. Uh, now, the way this would work out in the real world, outside of a convention center full of tech people, is that once your bike is stolen, hopefully it's not stolen, but once it's stolen, they're driving down the road somewhere, maybe they're stopped, they bring it into a cafe, whatever the case may be, at that point, someone else has the app running in the background, and it simply triggers that as uh, the location for your object, and then you can see it on your screen. Uh, now, of course, the network here today is Chipolo for this, this demo, but as I mentioned, it could be anything. It could be Tile, it could be Tracker down the road, uh, and that would kind of vary a little bit on what network you want. So, for example, in Europe, Chipolo is much more popular, whereas here in North America, it's probably more like Tile and Tracker. Uh, now, as I mentioned, this is definitely kind of concept car-like. So, Four Eyes hasn't decided what pricing is going to be like. They haven't decided, uh, you know, what product it's going to be on. The current plan, though, is roughly the Sea Otter time frame, which is April, uh, to get more details on this. I'm certainly interested in seeing how this works out. Like, this could be a huge competitive advantage for them, especially if it was free. Uh, if you're looking at, you know, whether you're going with the Four Eyes power meter or Stages power meter, all the things being equal, you probably would choose this. Uh, but again, there's there's lots of things that make them all different. That's kind of the, the fun of power meters. Anyways, cool stuff. Definitely stay tuned to this. Uh, stay tuned to the channel. Also, in the link down below in the description, you'll see plenty more information about this. I've kind of written a longer post on it, as well as some of the technology behind it. Uh, so you may have seen on the crank arm, there's something that says powered by obvious. I'll try to explain what that is in the post down below there. Uh, so anyways, plenty more sports technology to come here from CES. Definitely whack that like button if you found this interesting or the subscribe button. Have a good one.